What up party people? It's your girl Julie. If this is your first time seeing me, welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time seeing me, then welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about the brand new Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab, The Mother Effin' Vault. Everybody was waiting for this. It dropped, it then it was gonna drop and then it didn't drop and then they reneged on it and then like, oh my God, so much craziness. Everyone's talking about batch codes. Everyone's talking about all this crazy shit and I'm over here like opening my box like, but damn, nobody's talking about how freaking gorgeous this is. Like I literally have a storybook in my hand. Like hate her or love her, like I don't give a fuck. Like this shit is dope. Um, So this is it. You pull out your little string here and there they all are. Oh, so, so, so gorgeous. All right, so here they are in all of their glory. Bling Boss. Dark Magic. Armed and Gorgeous. Ring the alarm. I don't know what I'm gonna go into first. I'm actually really thoroughly excited. Like, the big thing was that the palettes got pushed back and they were talking about batch codes and they were talking about all this stuff. But my boy Rich Luck said it best. It's a fucking $15 palette. You guys are getting oh so shook over, like, what? Like, God, you guys think like you're shopping at fucking. You're shopping at like the Chanel counter. It's just so ridiculous. But because you guys are super, super dramatic, I should just like solely probably go in with this one because this color right here called Top Secret was the controversy of all of life. Um, so I think that I really need to like, I think I'm just gonna literally do a green eye just because do a, a cut crease and I'm gonna use that green. That's what I'm doing but I'm using that green. And it's not gonna go with my makeup and it's not gonna go with my outfit and I don't care what you all say. Oh my God, yo. This is first world problems right here. Your shadow. My shadow. Okay, so you shady ladies, just because you guys are shady as hell, um, I already went ahead and swatched the two greens this one right here, which is called a potion, and this one right here, which is called top secret. But this is what they looked like. This top one right here was potion, and this bottom one right here was top secret. All right, so first things first, after I prime my lid, I like to put powder all over it just to make sure that there's no inconsistencies from when I place my shadow on my eye and start a lot of times if you don't put powder on after you prime then wherever you put your um tool is going to be the place where the most product is just gonna sit and then you're gonna try to like try to wipe that off and it's just a pain in the ass so just put a little powder on your eyelid and call it a day so whatever you feel you want to do some people do it some people think that it's stupid it's whatever you want to do but i do it so i have to do it again you know what i mean? just gotta do it I'm gonna hit up Access right here and this color right here, Agent. I'm just gonna dip between both of them because I feel like this is a little too yellow and this is one is a little bit too dark. I'm just gonna go balls to the wall with Top Secret. I mean, I don't know, this could be like a really bad thing or it could just be a bad thing. Dude, I'm telling you that the swatches that are on my hand are absolutely atrocious. And you know, when she was doing her swatch video, all you busted ass mofos were like, oh my god, oh look at how many times she had to come over and you know, do da 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 da. I'm sorry, I, oh my god, I'm not a fucking makeup artist, but I know when shit sucks. Like, I'm not trying to suck Jacqueline Hill's. 
That was so scary. I thought we were gonna have an issue. I'm not trying to like be on Jacqueline Hill's dick, but like you guys, come on. I mean, I'm the first one to call them out when they're doing something stupid or trying to be like shady ladies, but you know, come on. You guys didn't like the first round of shadows. So she pulled them back or did whatever she did to better you guys because she wasn't gonna let her stuff go out. You know what I'm saying? I actually love this green. I, I like, I mean, when I was first looking at it, I was like, yeah, I just gonna do it because everybody wants to see looks with the pukey green. But I am <laughs> not ashamed of this green at all. That same brush that I did the top colors and I'm just going to blend out right up here like so. Just barely touching the top of that green. Barely. All right, so actually, I think I've been calling this color Hush right here, but it's actually called Shh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the color Shh and access that yellowy one and I'm just going to blend up the tops right here just like so then I'm gonna go then I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to do a cut of Coriso I really 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 like this Green. I never thought I would say that about this color. I'm gonna cut my crease. Now I'm gonna go into this VIP color. This is gonna be super, super, super blinding. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off. I'm gonna do the other eye, and I will be right back for you. All right, you guys, go, there you have it. I have used Top Secret from the Armed and Gorgeous Jacqueline Hill Morphe Palette from the motherfucking vaults. I absolutely loved it. It definitely takes a little bit of finessing, but y'all dragged her for no fucking reason. Um, also, just wanted to say, none of my palettes have V2 on the back, though I don't know if she's lying about the codes or what the hell they mean, and I do not care. I don't know anything about this shit. That's why I don't talk about it or cover it. <laughs> but I can tell you that, oh my god, that's the second fucking time I enjoy these palettes. Um, I know she is going to be restocking soon. I believe she's on the 24th or the 28th, not sure. Okay, you guys, so I am reviewing and editing, of course, before this went up. And I have to say that the more and more I watch this, the more and more I feel like um, the green definitely needed a little bit more finessing. And it was really tough because I wanted to pack on that color. And it really was a tough one to finesse. That's all I have to say. My eyes just need a little bit of love <laughs> and that's that so love you guys
go take a look at that. Um, if you didn't get one, um, you should. But I still have to throw this in there as well that everything still stands on how I feel about a $15 palette. Every single other color, the other 11 colors, I believe there's 12 in there. The other 11 colors worked really well. The other shadows I tried worked really well. Um, so yeah, still stand on what I said about it's a $15 palette so don't lose your cool. I...